Hello, today we'll have a look at this chap. It's George Boole, mathematician from England, 1815 to 1864. He had a short life, but very interesting life. Uh, that's the Wikipedia article about George Boole. You might like to read it. The uh, logic uh, we use these days in Maya and other uh, contexts is uh, more or less uh, very well described uh, in the logical connective article in the Wikipedia. And uh, here you see uh, the list of common logical connectives. Uh, the negation, not, the conjunction, and, and the disjunction, or. And that's something which we can use in Maya, and it's called bool operators. So let's close this window for now, and uh, here I have three objects planted in a really cool scene. And by the way, this is totally off topic. Uh, when I render it in Arnold, it looks just beautiful. This is only one light in the scene, you know. So it doesn't have a lot to reflect uh, in, the, in the spheres, but it's just the soft shadows. It's just magic. This Something like this was not at all possible uh, five years ago and especially in this at this speed the speed is just marvelous too so i'm just i'm still excited about uh, what arnold does arnold hello good day okay but now it's about bool and uh, you go to the modeling menu set and under mesh you find booleans Union, difference, and intersection. Okay, let's go to the new union first. We want to unite three objects. This one, this one, and this one. Of course, it doesn't make sense to unite them because they are separated uh, geometrically. So let's move this one over here and this one over here, maybe to the top, like this. Now I have uh, three spheres intersecting each other. I se select them all. The order, I think, is not important for the first Boolean operation, which is the union. Now have a look at what happens in the outliner on the left side. Currently I have three spheres and one plane. Now I use the Boolean operation union. Okay, the three spheres are hidden. That's where the three spheres appeared. Now they're hidden. I cannot see anything when I pick it here. We have a new sort of sphere. It's called uh, polysphere 4. And uh, that's what we have. It looks the same, basically, uh, as what we've seen before. But if we dive into the yellow sphere, now we're inside, and we look to the left, it's actually the blue one was cut out here you see it properly and we turn to the other side the same happened to the what what color was it the green one yeah it looks a bit irritating but in fact it is not there anymore so it's really there's a cut here and uh, uh, you you the the inside part of the uh, green and the blue one in the yellow sphere have disappeared they've been cut away and we have one united object and this of course is only possible in the mesh world in the polygon world the topology of the NURBS world would not permit this that's why we don't have such a thing under the NURB surfaces the menu for NURB surfaces is here and we can of course and I did this in another tutorial intersect uh, objects but that's a totally different um, method to really create new geometry because this geometry the sphere fear as it's called uh, sphere 4 as it's called is really a new and totally fine uh, element with basically where you can uh, cut away the history so uh, the object won't remember where it came from and it has three colors so it's totally intact so from there you can go on so this is the unification uh, let's undo this by pressing the key Z. Now I'm back in the outline and you see I have three spheres. Now uh, I've picked the three spheres. Now I go to Mesh, Booleans and I make 
the difference. And all of a sudden, much of the scene disappears. Let's render it. Wow. Um, this is uh, what I get. And um, so it's a yellow part. That's uh, the yellow part of the of the large sphere, and uh, this is uh, what we achieved using the difference operator. Um, let me undo this, and I want to show you how this works exactly. So back to the spheres. Let me pick. Um, Actually, we need to intersect them a little bit more in order to see this properly. Make this bigger and move this over here so we have an intersection of all three of them. You see? Okay. And now the order of intersection is important. So let's pick the yellow one, then the green one, and then the blue one. Uh, I can tell you in advance what's happening now is um, it will take this, the yellow one, as a base and cut away all the sections where the other objects are. So let's see how this works. Mesh Boolean's difference. You see, the blue and the green spheres are gone, but their remains are here. So this is the operation uh, with the difference, and the difference works in a selective order. So let's undo this again. Now I uh, select them in a different uh, pattern. I select the, f uh, the blue one first, then the green one, and then the uh, yellow one what the difference operation will do now, it will cut out these two spheres from the big blue one, and the big blue one will basically remain there. Boolean's difference. See? That's the cutout we achieved now. Okay, so the order with the difference is important. Uh, we're back to the original now. Now, uh, the last option here is the intersection. Intersection, how does it work? This is the result of the intersection. Here, uh, it's not important, uh, the order of the uh, selection, because it just uh, creates an object which is the common object to all of the, all of the three objects. So it's, uh, it's uh, basically what they have in common. Let's undo this, do another selection, that one, that one, and that one, and mesh Boolean's intersection, so it's the same object. So uh, it's, a, it's, it's just a straightforward thing. Uh, to make this even more clear, we can put this further down into the ground, and this one as well, like this. And now I select this sphere, this sphere, this sphere, and the ground, and create Boolean intersection. So that's what I'm having now. Basically it's a chair, isn't it? It's a new object. The previous objects are hidden here, so I can start working with this object. And why is that part here grey? Because the ground surface, the, the grid, so to say, uh, this thing, uh, was grey. So let's render it. The ground plane is gone now, obviously, because we used it here for the Boolean operation. And I hope you liked it. And have a nice day and sit down and relax here. It's a, it's a chair create an armchair with a boolean operation.